Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Master Alley. As you see, all these power tools make our life so much easier. However, they need strong and good performance uh, batteries to keep them running. For example, this one, GMC 24 volt batteries is really big and bulky, but it only contains 1.5 AH and the charging time could easily go up to um, 5 hours. What is inside? Basically, they're just batteries linked to each other. Power tools nowadays, mostly they will use lithium iron like this one because they carry more juice, they can uh, charge a lot faster. However, they're very delicate, so they need a um, very advanced um, circuit board to monitor them. These circuit boards are highly uh, sensitive to water, impacts and electric current. Enough saying, we're going to do some tests today. We're using three well-known brands uh, the same uh, the same level batteries on this side they're using 18 volt which on this side here we're using 22 volt why because in hong kong they don't have 18 volt batteries enough for the old batteries first let's talk about Hilti, the B22, 22 volt, 5.2 H batteries. Because it has a higher voltage, it's bigger than the others, weight 0.78 kilogram. The casing using uh, fiberglass instead of PC make it four times stronger for the uh, impact absorptions. And I can see 50% is covered with rubber, so that it's also better for the impact. For uh, battery indication, it's right there, pressing these two button. Sometimes I find it hard to press because perhaps my hand is small. Next one is the smallest among three, Makita 18V 5.0AH. It's light uh, in um, 0.64 kg. However, I don't see any rubber for the impact absorptions. Power indicator is right there. Next is Miwaki 18V 5.0AH. Same, the casing using PC, and I can see uh, they're using a little bit of the, the rubber on and, and the bottom as well. Weight. Surprisingly, it's almost the same weight as Hilti, 0.74 kilogram, and the power indicator is right there. One thing I want to mention is about these two. They have two buttons right there, very easy to press. However, after a certain amount of pressing, they're going to wear off and break. So anyway, let's open them and have a look. First, let's talk about um, Hilti B22. It looks quite big outside, but when I open it, it actually left some space, it increased the um, impact resist and I can take them out very easily. For the battery alliance, I can see they leave some rooms here, especially at the corner. If you notice, when we drop some things, they're always at the corner, so this is pretty good. For the circuit board, it's covered 100% with the PVC, it has a very high water resist level. And underneath there, there's a thermal sensor for preventing overheat by charging or any sort. Next one is the Makita. It's very light, honestly, very light. When I open it, they got some room for the impact options. And here, for water resist, they put a transparent, quite thick uh, water resistant material. However, I found something. This two IC is not covered by the material, so I'm not quite sure how, how it happened. And for Miwaki, very sturdy, but there's no room for impact absorption, so once it drops, perhaps 100%, all the impacts will go into the battery or to the circuit board. And for water resist, I can see they use a new technology. It's a very thin coating of the water resistant, but overall, I'm not sure how good they are, but let's go out and find them, um, we'll do some tests about them. 